Hey, it's your brother Marcus from the Netherlands to Kingdom Come. Welcome back. So, to start off the new season, I thought it would be a good idea to tell you what happened after the last uh, episode two years ago. I uh, remember feeling a little caught up in the crossfire. Personal setbacks that made me focus more on the outside. Meeting new people, building friendship with them. But meanwhile struggling financially to get by. I felt that I had, uh, I felt that uh, I had no valuable information to share. Although I tried looking for that, but I was looking on the outside for that, and uh, everything felt like an obligation after a certain time. So after a while of people coming and people going, uh, eventually got me back to myself. So after a while of people coming and going, all this time I had made the mistake to forget to be quiet. To uh, focus on the inside. And uh, to ignore what happened to me. And instead look what I have done with it. However, while I was taking this time to be with myself, trying to make sense of things like my high sensitive abilities and awareness and gaining more understanding, finding the kingdom of God within myself, I suddenly started to see what is wrong the way people think these days. Highly influenced by their culture, the religious belief system, the media, the governments, and the constant decline of society, the constant problems they have to face in all of this, because they are forced from one crisis to another. So I get it, you know, how deception is finding its way through people. How truth for them has become a subjective thing. But more important, the ripple effect that it has. Because they are constantly taught how to think, how to act, and what to say and what not. Where I see people totally blindsided within the church, Christian communities to a point where it is very, very clear that they are totally unaware what is in front of them. Now, the question is, how? And then it hit me. It is the concept of group thinking, backed by the theories about scripture. Avoiding issues and facts that show these theories are wrong. They are caught in their own religious set of rules and do's and don'ts and false teachings and then repeating the constant same Bible verses that support their false teaching and then calling it their opinion. your opinion so you're saying your opinion is more important than the actual truth you see the truth is this is the same reason why Jesus walked up to the Pharisees one day and called them Satan's children you see 
when you have come to understand that God doesn't need a building called a temple and that in fact you are a temple and that God wants to be there with you and teach you from within as for me I have been fighting struggling to get out of this religious belief system and be free of any ideology interpretation of scripture by people who are obviously not qualified to teach me anything what I can read myself understand for once that religion is being hijacked infiltrated and destroyed from within this is not about your church your community your group thinking your traditions your rituals and the group opinion because you are you you are born here you were given life and free will with the opportunity to experience all aspects of life to know yourself to know the love of God and spread that love around to everyone around you where you can to be free and so you are the center point of God's attention as an individual he wants you to he wants to show you everything there is to know he wants you for himself which means also that you stay clear from anything that might restrict your ability to fully interact or reach him and become as Jesus yourself which is uh, kind loving healing humble yet firm and strong carrying a gift that he gave you which he wants to give to everyone around you by actually being that and doing so being a light instead of talking about a light doing what he did instead of talking about what he did not by using his words and his phrases all of the time judging people forcing the so-called good message down people's throat condemning what you are to understand to be sin and talk down to people and spread lies and so-called opinions instead of the truth In future episodes I will show which deceptions are currently happening and expose that it has everything to do with this group thinking and how people are deceiving each other by constantly repeating the same wrong conclusions and perceptions instead of the perspective. For now have a beautiful day.